So hey everyone, today in this video, we are going to discuss in detail about C-Disk. So let us first discuss what is the full form of C-Disk. So that is nothing but Clinical Data Interchange Standard Consortium. Now let's see introduction of C-Disk. So CDIX stands for Clinical Data Interchange Standard Consortium that is a full form and is a global non-profit organization that actively develops data standards with the collective knowledge and experience of volunteers within the pharmaceutical industry. It creates and communicate standards that support the acquisition, exchange, submission and archive of data for medical and biopharmaceutical product development. CD standards covers everything from planning and data collection through to data analysis and reporting. CD standards can be grouped into two different areas, contact standards, content standards, data exchange standard. So guys, what did this introduction para mein kya explain kya in the first place? First of all, they have told the Clinical Data Interchange Standard Consortium, which is the full form of CDS. Then they have told that this organization is a non-profit organization. Okay, non-profit organization, which is not earning money from that. Now, what do these organizations do? They develop standards. For which industry? So, biopharmaceutical and medical industry. और ये स्टैंडर्ड्स कौन से होते हैं तो ये स्टैंडर्ड्स होते हैं डेटा एक्विजिशन के लिए एक्सचेंज के लिए सबमिशन के लिए आर्चिव के लिए ना लेट्स मूव टू सी डिस कंटेंट स्टैंडर्ड सो फर्स्ट इज प्लान देन कलेक्ट देन ऑर्गेनाइज देन एनालाइज सो यू कैन सी दीज आर द स्टैंडर्ड्स सो गाइज इफ यू आर वर्किंग एज एन स्टैटिस्टिकल प्रोग्रामर सो कैन यूज एस डी टी एम एंड एड एम दीज टू स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड वट्स द यूज ऑफ अदर स्टैंडर्ड्स दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन दिस वीडियो इन द कमिंग पार्ट Now see this content standards for data exchange. So ODM XML, dataset XML, define XML, and analysis result metadata and lab. Now let's talk about the history of C Disk. So 1997 C Disk was founded by Dr. Rubika Kush. 1999 release of first C Disk standards, the study data tabulation model that is SDTM. 2004 CDISC recognized by the FDA for its role in regulatory submissions. 2014, the FDA mandated the use of CDISC standards for regulatory submissions. Now let's talk about some of the clinical standards. So the very first standard is SDTM. The full form is Study Data Tabulation Model. Defines a standard structure for clinical trial data tabulation dataset. ADAM Analysis Dataset Model. Specify standards for analysis data set to ensure traceability and reproducibility of analysis result. C- Clinical Data Acquisition Standards Provide Standardized Data Collection Instrument Guys, what is the use of SDM here? I will tell you that the raw data is collected by the patient So, we have to standard it on a standardized level So, we have to follow the SDM rules of SDM IG And what rules are there? There are some simple rules like what will be the name of the variable What will be the length of the type How will it be defined that these variables will go which data set will go. This is all information in IG, SDM IG. Same way, Adam IG for analysis data set. There is no missing value here, its imputation, there are date values, result values. Ensure that the data analysis is ready. And C-D is the standard, it is mostly followed by the clinical data management team. So what do they do? They ensure that the data they are managing or cleaning are as per the standard. Now let's talk about the non-clinical standard. That is SEND, Standard for Exchange of Non-Clinical Data. Ensures uniformity and consistency in non-clinical study data. Now let's discuss about the purpose. So it facilitates the review process and enhances data quality for non-clinical studies. Now let's talk about operational standards. So ODM, Operational Data Model, facilitates the interchange and archiving of clinical trials data. Lab, Laboratory Data Model, ensures standardized structure for laboratory data in clinical trials. Now let's have a detailed look at SDM. So the very first thing is structuring the data, organizing data into domains such as demographic, adverse event and lab result. Implementation, used to submit data to regulatory authorities like FDA and EMA. Detailed look at ADAM. Traceability ensures that all data transformation from raw data to analysis data set are documented. Analysis ready data set designed for statistical analysis and easy review by regulatory agencies. Now let's have a detailed look at C-CRF case report forms. It provides standard template for CRF to collect consistent data across studies. Compliance ensures consistency in data collection across different trials and organization. Now let's talk about other CDIS standards. 
Control terminology. CDIS provide control terminologies and code list for consistent data representation. Data exchange standards. CDIS has developed standard for data exchange formats such as study data XML, SDX. Therapeutic area standard. CDIS has developed standards for specific therapeutic areas such as cardiovascular diabetes and oncology. CDIS and regulatory submissions. So FDA requirement since 2016, the FDA has required CDIS standards for electronic submission. Global acceptance, increase adaptation by regulatory agencies worldwide including EMA and PD and PMDA. Benefits of using CDIS standards, improve data quality and consistency, streamline data exchange and submission process, enhance data traceability and transparency, facilitate data review and analysis, increase operational and efficiency and cost saving, standardize representation of medical devices data. So guys, in today's video, I have given you an overview of CDISC. By the way, explaining CD standards in a single video, that is little difficult and time consuming. But you don't have to worry. For all the standards for which we have seen an overview in this video, we're gonna cover in the coming videos. We're gonna discuss in detail about SDM, we're gonna discuss in detail about ADAM, and similarly for all the other standards. And if you want the link of this PPT, so you can check in the video description. And if you have any more questions, you can connect to us through one-to-one -one counseling session. And on this channel, I have created a lot of videos related to clinical SaaS, SaaS software and broadcast about interview questions, interview patterns, everything. You can go and check those videos as well. So for now, thank you everyone and bye-bye everyone.